Doug was a complete maverick. Great friend, great thinker, miles ahead of his time. He was so dedicated to the cause, and that's extremely encouraging and, and inspirational to us. He was a man who thought really big, I mean really big. Doing the things that he did, it took huge courage and vision. Tonight, the things that meant most to him are really represented in this small room. Some of you are conservationists, some of you are really, truly wild. And he was a wild man since the day he was born. Well, we're here really for three reasons, I think. Um, the first, well, the first is ridiculous to remember him. How could you forget him? <laughs> but the second task is to thank him for the amazing things he's done. And the third task, Doug, is to promise to you that we are going to sustain your legacy. Laguna Blanca, the beloved farm that really was what I call the master's last masterpiece. Doug always said, as much conservation as we do, if you don't get agriculture right, the game's over. And this is where he put his heart and soul in the last years of his life. Everything Doug did was brought about by his respect for beauty, his recognition of beauty. And as this masterpiece grew, this became a piece of Doug's soul that many of you represent. Laguna Blanca was an expression that the front line of the battle to save the last remaining remnants of biodiversity actually is in agriculture. And we need to be informed by nature. I loved Doug and I still love Doug for bringing that thinking into the world. When we really talk about philanthropy and we talk about purpose, we talk about legacy, we talk about consciousness, you know, what is the world without air, water and soil? And uh, I think it's really Doug that brought that home to me. My life's focus is really focused and centered around what they've achieved. If I think now what we're doing in our place, you know, so much is based on the experience of Doug, the inspiration that he gave to all of us. Every day in the morning I wake up and I think, you know, we got to do that, we got to turn it around, we got to fight for it, we got to work for it. Where does it come from? Doug. There were three or four of us in the small plane and Doug was piloting and flying and we landed and as we taxied, the plane dipped into a huge hole in the ground. Wing is bent and Doug gets out, bends the wing a little bit and he says, it's fine. <laughs> and I really had no choice and as I said, I didn't. <laughs> he was wild, he was absolutely fearless when it came to creating huge ideas that by any standard would be impossible. But his motto was, commit and then figure it out. Extraordinary, mind-blowing, almost unbelievable legacy that you and Chris have secured already the protection of 6.2 million hectares of land. To actually do all the stuff that the rest of us talk about endlessly and fantasize about endlessly, but you have actually done this, the scale of what has been done there just immediately deflates any attempt to say it cannot be done. And it's that idea that despite everything they throw at us, we can still find that hope. That is, is the greatest legacy that you have left us. He was a big man, I think. Uh as big as the planet, really. I certainly, for myself, think I'm very fortunate to have known such a man. He's always there somewhere. Doug, you're still here. You're inside us and you're inside everyone and always will be because that example, that inspiration, that hope is not going to die. If you do one thing in thinking about Doug, tomorrow morning and every morning, commit yourself to doing something for anything but yourself. We loved a wild life. We wanted to live in isolated places, and if nobody came to visit us, we would face each other with delight and crankiness and everything else that we were able to deliver to one another. We had a marriage that was truly extraordinary. I marvel, as did he, the good fortune that we found each other somehow and created this life together. And I think that love and experiencing that kind of love is really, you know, it's one in a million.
That's it. <laughs> it was beautiful as long as it lasted, the journey of my life. I have no regrets whatsoever, save this pain I'll leave behind. At every turning of my life, I came across good friends, friends who stood by me even when the time raced by me. Farewell, farewell, my friends. I smile and bid you goodbye. Shed no tears, for I need them not. All I need is your smile. If you feel sad, do think of me, for that is what I'll like. When you live in the hearts of those who you love, remember then you never die.